Hey guys, today I have an unboxing from the HK Now store, and I believe that this is my Diane Megaminx. Now I'm really excited to get into this package, I've heard a lot of really good things about this Megaminx, and I really like Megaminx, I solve it quite a lot, and it would be really cool to like get a proper speed cubing Megaminx. So let's just get into this package. Wow, I need to cut more. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. So, it comes in a really nice box. Wow, it's actually like a proper Diane box. Um, I wasn't expecting this. This is uh, this is really cool. So, um, I ordered the one with the ridges on because I find it really hard to actually grip the Mega Minx normally. So, having the ridges on it, I think it's a really cool idea. And it will probably help a lot while solving. So here it is, this looks so cool, okay so here it is, so first looking at it, it looks really nice, the stickers have a lot of grease on it though, it's very very greasy so I'll need to kind of like clean that a little bit, but this is really really nice, it looks so cool, and these ridges are just it just looks awesome. So I guess I'll get into the turning of it. Wow. This feels so nice. I can tell right now that the ridges definitely help. Um, I can grip these edges a lot easier. And it turns really nice. It's actually very, very smooth. It does feel quite dry. It it has been lubed definitely because uh, the grease on the stickers, but I think I should definitely lubricate this with something better, probably Lubix. Uh, but this is definitely a very very nice Mega Minx, and I can't wait to you know tension it and then start speed solving on it. It looks really really nice. So I guess I'll do a size comparison to a QJ Mega Minx. That's here. So. They look about the same size, apart from obviously the ridges go up a little bit further. Um, so it is the same size, and what about the colour scheme? Okay, so by the looks of it, it is the exact same colour scheme as well. And I really like the shades on these di this Dion Cube. Uh, I really like these additional colours here, I think they look really, really cool. And another thing I've noticed is on the stickers, on the very centre sticker, uh, the stickers are also rounded as well, it's really, really cool. So I'll definitely lubricate this, it turns really really well, I'm really really excited about you know, getting uh, getting going on this puzzle. Uh, one thing I can tell though is that some layers do turn a bit easier than others, this red one is a little bit stiff, uh, but I guess with breaking in it will get a bit easier. Let me see if I can pop out a piece. Okay so wow that is really cool, it looks just like a Diane Guhong piece. And what about the corners? Yeah, so you can definitely tell that this is a Diane cube. Um, judging by the pieces, they're split into three, uh, and the edges are split into two. Let's see if I can have a look at the centers. Wow. Uh, the center kind of reminds me of a Lung Yun version two. Uh, I don't know if that's for many people, but wow, this is just so cool. Really excited to see what I can do with this puzzle. So, I'm probably going to lubricate, mess about with this, do a couple of solves on it, um, and then I will get back to you guys with a review. I think just to finish off the video, I'm going to scramble it and see what it looks like, because this puzzle is really, really cool. Yeah, so it definitely needs lubrication, I can tell, um, and I definitely need to tension it. <laughs> That'll be quite a job, seeing as there is 12 sides to it. Um... But yeah, this is a really nice puzzle. Hmm, one thing I should check is corner cutting. 
So at the moment it doesn't look like it can corner cut. Oh yeah, yeah it can. It was just one face couldn't. Wow, so corner cutting is quite impressive actually. Uh, and it is quite tight as well. So yeah. Anyway, that's the cube scrambled. It looks really, really nice. Can't wait to solve this now. Um, but anyway, guys, this has been an unboxing of the Diane Megaminx. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a few days for the review.